Why? Why not? Years ago, I never would have been able to predict what I would be doing today. But looking back, my journey makes sense. I check in with myself by asking myself those two questions that have served me well throughout my life and my career. Why and why not? I have four incredible nieces, all under the age of 12. And they are all on their own journeys that are messy and exciting. And so I check in with them too by asking them, what do you want to do when you're older? And I love the responses. Artist, scientist, and sometimes I get a very thoughtful, I don't know yet. And actually, this is very insightful because you see my nieces and your children are on paths for careers that don't even exist today. Let me say that again. Their careers in the future, we never can predict what they're going to be. And so they will need exceptional skills in order to face future challenges. Skills that we can help them learn by supporting them on their learning journeys. But I'm not talking about just helping with homework. I'm talking about helping them connect experiences so that they know that their learning is something that grows and evolves as they create their own unique journeys. My 11-year-old niece, Rebecca, went to science camp last summer to learn operant conditioning. Actually, she learned how to train rats. During dinner, we were talking about her camp, and she expressed her concern for rats and that, and that they have been misjudged. In fact, they're cuter and smarter than most people realize. She was really persuasive. She wanted others to know how she felt. So I encouraged her to not give up and tell her story. So she created a 30-second video teaser on why we should give rats a second chance. She was great. She did everything on her own. She searched for the content, she created the video, she edited it, she selected the soundtrack, all because her story was important enough to tell. And today, her 30-second teaser, entitled, Are You Sure You Hate Rats?, was posted by the Science Center on YouTube and has more views than she could ever have imagined possible. By encouraging her to create a video, she expressed herself artistically about something that she was learning at the science camp. She used technology to solve a problem. And she created a new opportunity for someone else to learn something by sharing her original content with hundreds. But what if I had not been there? Would she have been able to connect those learning experiences on her own? I know you're probably thinking, there is no way I can always be there. Well, really? Why not? What if Rebecca had used an intelligent system to help her journal about her feelings regarding rats being misjudged? And what if this intelligent system could actually make recommendations and suggestions as to how she could express herself artistically? including making a video. You see, learners today have all kinds of options available to them. And so by helping her and encouraging her to connect these two learning experiences, her experience was intensely rich. You see, learning today is happening everywhere. It's all around us. We live in a world that is connected 24-7 and social. Our media habits are changing, and our expectations of technology are as well. Today, we have the ability to have digital friends. We use multiple screens. And the real world is just one platform we use to connect with content and each other. We're moving beyond formal learning into a new paradigm that engages learners 24-7. This path begins with transmedia storytelling. Transmedia storytelling is a technique 
where you take a core experience or story and you expand it across multiple media, with each medium making a contribution that can be experienced from diverse perspectives. Transmedia storytelling is not just about multiple media, though. It's about connecting with someone personally and emotionally, enough so that they will want to create content, share it, talk about it, and stay engaged. And that is the goal for us in terms of learning. But what's wrong here? This learner is obviously overwhelmed. Learners today find themselves in a situation where media, all kinds of media, are really thrown at them. There really is no good framework for learning across technologies or diverse devices or systems. Is that the best we can do? I don't think so. And that's where our next generation learning ecosystems come into play. Next generation learning ecosystems that use transmedia storytelling are actually taking hints and using techniques from the entertainment industry. Consider a blockbuster film like Star Wars. Star Wars, in this case, would be our core experience. Imagine a web series that might be released months before the film, introducing a new character and allowing fans to get to know a part of the film. Or a game that's released that allows fans to actually experience the real environments that the, you, they, they will be seen in the films. Experience the real environments that they will be experiencing in the film and also play out roles and personas. Fans comment, blog, post, tweet, all on the topics related to the film. They're so engaged in the story that they even tell stories of their own. You see, learners are telling us how they want to learn, if we listen to them. They're storytellers and builders. They're hands-on. They love playing games and being immersed in a story. And they are voracious consumers if we give them story-driven, multimedia content that is rich. My niece, Rebecca, she took something she learned at camp, added a new twist, and shared it with hundreds. Not only can she tell you how to train rats, she can also tell you why they're cute and smart, and she can show you how to make a movie. Scientists, technologists, and educators today are working together to support our lifelong learning journeys. We're creating technologies that actually connect experiences in and out of the classroom. We are facilitating social learning with peers all around the globe. This is truly an exciting time. We use data analytics to refine our systems and to make our technologies more adaptive to each individual. Imagine using a technology that helps you think, remember, and, and even have complex ideas, all based on the way that you learn. But we have a way to go. And while I may not know what unique futures lie in store for my nieces, I do know that we can all help our children stay hungry and curious about learning. Technology can help too, but in order to do so, our technologies should be culturally aware and able to really express genuine human experiences. So the next time you're helping someone with their homework, whether it's your granddaughter, your son, or your neighbor, Think about how you can connect that moment to other moments on their learning journey. Let them tell you how they're learning to learn. Trust them. Embrace the screen. You will be entering into a new world, their world, and you'll be much richer for it. And who knows, maybe by connecting 
one learning experience with another, you'll be connecting your learning journey to theirs and opening up an opportunity for a new paradigm to take root in your household.